Hi guys, today we are going to discuss equilibrium of particle. We are going to focus on static equilibrium which means that we are going to deal with object at rest and this object requires to satisfy the first law of Newton which means that all the forces acting on the object at rest should be equal to zero. In simple, we can write summation of forces is equal to zero. We will first introduce the concept of free body diagram and then we are going to show how to solve particle equilibrium using the equations of equilibrium. Consider a system in which a box is supported by cables horizontal cable and an inclined cable here at an angle theta and then we have an object let's say a box of weight w we can write letters here indicating the support and then at the point where the cables are connected let's say we have a ring here and we can label this as C and then let's say this at point B ok so we have a coplanar system here when we say coplanar all the forces is acting on a plane so that means we are going to consider the uh, x and y or the cartesian coordinate only so again we call this as coplanar force system so since our first job is to draw the free body diagram of this system when we say free body diagram we are going to free the particle from its surrounding so on this particular problem we have a particle C here which is the ring in order for this ring to be in equilibrium or at this position the summation of forces acting on this should be equal to zero now the main problem is what are the forces acting on this joint C? So we know that since cable, this is cable, we know that the cable is only subjected to tension forces. We have tension forces also here. And then we know that the weight is always directed downward vertically. So we are going to draw the free body diagram of this particle C here which is a ring which serves as the connection point of these three cables okay so we are going to draw the x and y axis since this is a coplanar force system we can write this as TA why TA this is tension for cable A when we say tension it is always away from the origin and then also a cable B here which is also tension inclined at an angle theta from the vertical we can label this as TB and of course we have this cable supporting the weight W and we know that a weight is always directed downward vertically so we can simply put the volume here and now we have the complete free body diagram of this ring showing the three forces which should be equal to zero when we take the summation we are now ready to solve the forces TA and TB 
if we are going to have a value of W, let's say we have 10 newton here, and then the theta, let's say, is 35 degrees. Okay, so we are now going to solve the equilibrium of this ring here. We are going to use the equilibrium equations. Since this is, we are using the Cartesian coordinate, we can rewrite summation of forces equal to zero by considering the forces acting on the x-axis, summation of forces x equal to zero, and then all the forces acting on the y direction, we have summation of forces y equals to zero. Okay, so we are now ready to present the solution. So we write summation of forces x equals to 0 here. From this drawing, we can see that two forces are acting on the x direction. We have Ta to the left, which means negative, and the x component of Tb, which is acting towards the right direction. So we consider first the positive direction. We write Tb. Since the angle is from the vertical, we use sine of theta. And then we have Ta here, which is going to the left. We have minus Ta all equal to zero. So this is our first equation of equilibrium. Summation of forces x equals zero. From this drawing, we can see that two forces are acting on the x-axis, the Ta, and the x component of Tb, which is Tb sine theta, positive to the right, minus Ta, negative, which is to the left, equal to zero. Okay. From this equation, can we solve TB or TA? No, we cannot because these two TB and TA are both unknowns. So, we are going to use summation of forces of y equals 0 and I am sure that we can solve either TA and TB. Obviously, from this drawing, since we only have two forces acting on the y direction which is the TB y component and then the W which is 10 newton. Okay, using summation of forces y equals 0 now, positive is the upward direction, negative is the downward direction. So we can write TB cosine theta minus W, which is downward, is equal to 0. So, from this equation, we can solve Tb since W is given as 10 newton and we have the angle theta as 35. We can now simply solve Tb is equal to W over cosine theta, which is 10 divided by cosine 35 our answer is in Newton. Okay. We now have the value for TB. We go back to this equation, summation of forces x equals 0. We can easily solve for TA. To summarize, this video presented the concept of drawing the free body diagram. We have this coplanar force system here in which a box of 10 newton is supported by cables at A and B and D. And these three cables are connected by a ring at C in which we consider the ring as the particle in equilibrium in which we also throw the free body diagram. 
we free the ring from its surrounding showing only the forces TA tension is away from the uh, origin of the Cartesian coordinate TB tension is upward at an angle theta from the vertical and W is always directed uh, vertically downward many problems involving the W instead of W sometimes it is presented by M or the mass which is in kilogram since we are dealing with forces we want this kilogram into Newton we simply use the formula W equals mg by second law of motion the mass multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 so if this is let's say 6 kg we simply multiply by 9.81 meter per second square and we have a force in newton so i hope that this short video helps you in the introduction of statics and we are going to solve more complicated problems when we say more complicated we can have a system of weights suspended by cables and then uh, we will introduce also systems which uh, have support by a spring okay so till next time we are going to solve more problems involving particle equilibrium or the particles at rest